Felix moves to Japan. Yeah. Oh my God. It's calmed down a lot, but holy shit. That first week was so annoying. It was like every single 10 seconds. It was like, guys, PewDiePie's in Japan. Guys, 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 guys. Uh, so I'm glad it's calmed down a lot though. I, I asked Felix, I was like, has anyone been like spamming you to talk about it? And he was like, no. He mentioned that like, yeah, that he mentioned the same thing in his video that people are being like weird about moving to Japan. Oh no, people get weird when you move to Japan. People are like, oh, I bet he's gonna leave. Oh, he doesn't even speak the language. I, <laughs> people are so weirdly defensive about people moving to Japan. Like if you moved to Cambodia, nobody would fucking bat an eye. But when you move to Japan, oh, suddenly, oh, do you know all the cultural norms? Oh, do you know this? You get a lot of people who live here and who don't live here. Majority of them don't live here. And it's just like jealousy of like, oh, you're gonna quit. Oh, you're not gonna like it. You know, and I, I can understand it in some senses because a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, well, you know, they would never have the opportunity to move to Japan and live there like recreationally, you know, because getting a visa is hard. You know, I, I don't know Felix's visa, but you know, most countries, if you're of a lot of wealth and you're like, hey, I will pay taxes in your country, a lot of the time, the country is just like, come on in. Yeah, and is it is it pay to win? Yeah, but I mean, who gives a shit? And then, then there's a lot of people who live here who also gatekeep Japan. That's a thing as well. A lot of people live here. They like to complain about it. They like to say how shit it is. But the moment someone wants to come here, they're like, whoa, what the fuck, dude? Don't throw another guy in entering. Bro, you're not going to be like me who's like super respectful and speaks the language properly and stuff. And it's like, bro, it's so cringe. A lot of people who want to give me criticism for some, for whatever reason, you know, there's a lot of things that you can criticize me for. Um, But one, the one thing that I can just tell people are just, you know, grasping at straws is that, uh, you know, people love to try and make out that the fact that I don't speak fluent Japanese is somehow disrespectful uh, or somehow is just a, a horrible thing of me to do. You know, and uh, my Japanese is by no means perfect, but my Japanese is at a level where I can hold, you know, uh, my Japanese level is at, a, is at a point where I can hold a basic conversation with people. Uh, I can have, I can, I can talk to people. I can ask them questions. I can, I can do all that. Obviously, you don't see a lot of that on camera because there's no need for me to do it. And a lot of the time, Connor, it, when we're in a video if you setting, to Puerto oh. Rico, everyone would question it and ask why if you don't know anything about the culture. True. Hashtag fact. You know, in the videos, I don't often speak Japanese because if we're doing a video, I want there to be no miscommunication. It, the video is going to be shit if I'm half understanding what the guy's saying. In a normal, in me personally, when I'm talking to someone, I don't always understand what they're saying. I listen out for keywords, and then I normally understand what's kind of happening. I understand enough to, for the conversation to happen. But yeah, people are so weird about it. People get really defensive about it, and they are, they they just want to use it as a way to invalidate me for some reason. I I don't, I don't have many detractors or people who dislike me, but it, it is a, just a frustration to see people who uh, do that. And uh, yeah, it's weird. It's just strange. But yeah, no, my Japanese is at a point where I can do everything on my own. I can rent cars alone. Uh, I can I can go and do everything alone. I can go out to eat. I can go to the ward office and do all the documentation. I can go to the bank alone. I can do everything alone in my life here. Uh, there are certain things that I bring someone along because I don't want there to be any miscommunication. Like, you know, if I was going to file my taxes or something, I want someone who is native to help me. Even if I was fluent, I probably wouldn't trust myself to do it. You know what I mean? Uh, because I just, that's something super serious that even if I felt like I was fluent, I wouldn't feel confident. You know, people are like, oh, well, stuff is so hard. People have to understand that there's also English options for everything here. Do you want a dentist who speaks English? You can go to one. There's also like, you know, a lot of dentistry in Japan is quite behind. The the, the practices are quite uh, old. Uh, so, you know, you can go to an American dentist here. They speak English. You can get uh, an accountant here who speaks fluent English and Japanese. Uh, you can get a doctor who speaks English. Like anything of importance, you can get someone who speaks English, right? Everything else you don't need, right? Like I, I don't need my fucking waiter to speak English. Uh, so it's like, all right, but with my health, okay, maybe I'm going to need the guy to speak English. You know, there are a lot of people who live here in Japan who, you know, Japan is one of those countries where if you work here as an English teacher, it's hard. It is not a fun country. You don't get paid much. You're broke all the time and your working hours are really tough. You know, it, it is not a, it is not the life you think it's going to be. A lot of people who are like very toxic here about it are normally just unhappy with their own position and they don't like it when someone's moving here who isn't going to be doing that. Like I'm very, very lucky that I can live here and kind of just do what I want. Like I'm not in a schedule. I can just do my work. Um, so it makes Japan way more fun and a lot easier to live in.